In today's video, I tried several Pilates workouts to see what the hype is all about. I will take you with me and let you know all my thoughts. Have fun watching and subscribe if you want to see more content. Hi and welcome back or welcome to my channel. My name is Sarah and I post everything about health, fitness, lifestyle, mindset, all that good stuff. And in this video, I tried to do only Pilates and a little bit of cardio because it's just part of my routine for a week to see, you know, what is the hype? Because I don't know about you, but I've been seeing Pilates everywhere on the internet lately. It's definitely become a very popular form of exercise and very trendy. And I did try Pilates before, but not for a whole week. I would take one Pilates day or maybe do a Pilates ab workout. Or if you saw my exercising like underrated fitness trainers video, I tried some Pilates there, but never for a full week. So I didn't use any weights besides like light weights. Um, I did a little bit of cardio as an addition, but that's about it. So I'm gonna tell you exactly what I did, how I felt, and obviously the results at the end, and obviously the results at the end of the week. Um, however, I'm gonna focus more on the mental effects rather than the physical effects, um, just because I think you should always work out because you want to be healthy and because you want to feel good but i will say that the physical effects were quite nice so yeah let's just get started with day one and you will see what i did so on day one i started with a 40 minute full body pilates class by move with nicole she has a lot of pilates workouts so i highly recommend checking her out those 40 minutes were definitely intense but i felt really really good after i also wanted to tell you some benefits of pilates so the first benefit is that it can promote a better posture and build muscle that is also how you get that toned look because through that it boosts your body's natural ability to burn fat it's also a great way to prevent injury and cross train and something that i definitely noticed is, is it promotes mindfulness and body awareness and you don't need any equipment besides your mat maybe some light weights so you can do it whenever you want as long as you have a phone or a laptop or some sort of device that you can watch your class on Hello, so today is day two of the Pilates challenge. So I've decided that I'm also going to be doing some cardio because yeah, the like the December was kind of sluggish for me, kind of slow. And cardio is important for me because I used to have asthma and every time I would just like go up the stairs, I was like out of breath. So I need to continue and I want to continue to feel comfortable doing cardio every now and then, either going for a walk, going for a run or doing a cardio workout like at home. It's just important for me. Other than that though, I'm only gonna do Pilates. So today, day two, I've decided to start with upper body. I'm going to do 15 minutes of upper body with light weights. So no heavy weights this week. I'm gonna start with that again next week. And I already went for a little walk. I might go for another one later, um, but just like a small one. And I will see. So I'm excited. The workout trainers that I'm trying out today, I haven't actually tried yet. Like I've tried so far like Boho Beautiful and Move with Nicole. And then I did the Pamela Reif Pilates workout. But other than that, I haven't really tried too much Pilates yet. So we will see. Without further ado, let's get into Pilates day number two. By the way, my hair and makeup today look really good. So 
so day two was an upper body day for me so I just used these very light weights and I did several different videos one was by move with Nicole then I did one by San Volet, Volet, also fit by Mick and it was actually really really good like this was a really good day I had a lot of fun doing it it was a good combination out of burn and coordination. I feel like that's what Pilates is all about. It, you get that coordination like from yoga and that balance, but you also get a really nice good burn without needing heavy weights or anything like that. So I actually really enjoyed the exercises and upper body is my weakness. I'm not as strong in my upper body than I am in my lower body. So this was really nice. Also some of the ladies exercises were very elegant which I really enjoyed like this like elegance and this mindfulness that you practice during your Pilates class or during your Pilates practice is really really cool so overall I would say it was intense it wasn't like a crazy intense upper body burn but I did feel the burn um, but I had a lot of fun on that day Hi guys, it is day three of the Pilates era, Pilates week, and today I'm going to be training legs and booty as well as some 30 minutes cardio and hit because I was really feeling that yesterday and I really feel up to like move my body. So I'm going to do a bit of a longer workout today for like 30 minutes. I'll probably only film the Pilates section. I'm going to start with legs and then do cardio as like a finisher. Um, I have to say I got up quite late today, like later than I would have liked to, went to bed later than I would have liked to. Um, so it's already like 4 p.m. and the sun goes down in like about 30 minutes. So I'm gonna start, but I don't know, the light might be changing throughout this video. Let's see, hopefully I the lighting won't be too bad. I'm gonna get started with 50 minutes legs Pilates style by Pamela Rife, then do 20 minutes of legs and booty by Move With Nicole, and then 30 minutes of hit by Growing In Ass. <laughs> wish me luck, guys, wish me luck. Maybe I'll give you a little bit of an insight. In the past few days, um, when I started the Pilates challenge or workout week or whatever, I have been feeling so confident, so in tune with my body. Like I literally look into the mirror and I'm like, wow, like, that's a model right there. Not to sound arrogant or anything, um, just confidence. And I'm really grateful for that because the weeks before that, I didn't feel too confident in my skin. So I've just been feeling super confident, super, like, I don't know, fit. And I don't know if it's because of the Pilates or because I just have a normal workout structure again or I don't know. But I wanted to let you guys know that and I've been having a lot of fun with this and I've been having a lot of fun like filming it for you. So that is my conclusion like midweek. It's Wednesday. I started on Monday um, and I'm probably going to finish Friday and then just do my rest days like on the weekend. So without further ado, let's get started into Pilates day number three. And if you want, you can do this challenge with me. Get your mat, pull up your laptop and let's go. Also, excuse my messy room. I was filming videos back there for my ASMR channel. So, I'm sorry. You can see my ring light and my chair. So on day three, I did around 35 minutes of legs paired with a cardio HIIT workout. It was just as intense as any other leg workout. Um, I definitely felt the burn the day after and yeah i really enjoyed the exercises i really liked that there was different muscles that were targeted i did 20 minutes thighs and booty by move with nicole and then i also did a 15 minutes leg pilates workout by pamela rife and like i said some high intensity workout after that i actually really liked those exercises and yeah like i said the next day was my running day and i definitely definitely felt the burn that day so i would say it was rather effective and it was also a lot of fun but just a side note uh just because you don't always feel the burn during a workout doesn't mean that it's not effective a workout doesn't have to feel extremely intense for it to be effective Effective. Just keep that in mind. She's so 
Day four, I thought I would show you my outfit from a different angle. I'm quite satisfied with it. Like I feel like this week, this is my favorite sports outfit. So I just went for a run. <laughs> my legs are killing me. I just did a post leg stretch. I still have the filming set up back there from earlier. I am now going to do Pilates apps. So I chose three workouts and then I'm going to make a post workout shake. I meant to take you along with me like what I'm eating this week and everything, but I kind of forgot about it. So I will make a separate what I eat in a day video to show you guys. I did want to like do Monday to Friday, but my legs are honestly hurting so much because I trained them yesterday and I went for a run this morning. So I think tomorrow is going to be my rest day. I'm going to try to do maybe like 30 minute full body stretch and that's it. And it also works out because tomorrow I have a few appointments that I have to go to. So it works out for me. And then Saturday I will finish the Pilates week with a Pilates hit because that's the only thing that I haven't tried out yet. And maybe a little bit Pilates with weights um, because and maybe a little bit of Pilates with weights because I didn't really try that out either. So far, I am very satisfied with how the week went. Um, I think this was a great way to get back into working out. I think Pilates is definitely going to be part of my routine. It already was, but I th think I'm going to incorporate it even more. And I will tell you all about it in my like conclusion, obviously. So now let's get to training those apps and yeah let's go <laughs> and then we can take a shower and make a protein shake and just chill <laughs> On day four, I had just come back from a run and my legs were properly sore that day because of the day before that and the run. So I did abs and I did move with Nicole, Mary Braun and San Malay and it was around like 20 to 25 minutes. And yeah, just my normal regular ab workout. like. Sometimes I feel like in Pilates there's a few different exercises that I don't usually do um, that I really like but the burn felt similar to any other workout and it was really good and I also felt like my abs specifically looked really toned after that workout and after that week so yeah it was a nice workout I would say intensity just as intense as any other ab workout abs are also my favorite favorite part of the body to work out i love a good ab workout on day five i decided to take a rest day and use it for stretching and just giving my body a break rest days are so important i love stretching and stretching is also super super important to prevent injuries while working out and yeah i think i stretched for around 20 minutes and I was watching a show during it that is my number one tip if you're not motivated and especially when it comes to stretching where you don't have to pay that much attention just put on a Netflix show or a podcast that you enjoy and do your stretches you don't have to do that every time but sometimes it can really help to like you know get your stretches done because I know for me that's something that I need to work on like to stretch more On the last day, on day six, I decided to do a Pilates HIIT workout. So kind of like full body again with abs, legs, upper body, and it did get my heart rate up. I Obviously it's not as intense as like a regular HIIT workout as in like cardio intense but it did get my heart rate up and it, I would say it's a little bit of a more neighborhood friendly cardio workout and you can already see like I look so toned and strong and I felt very strong at that point as well and I was really really enjoying it and yeah it did include some jumps so it wasn't completely free of that 
it was more intense as in like my heart rate was up more than the other Pilates workouts, but I wouldn't say it was a 10 out of 10 intensity. And then also I did a 15 minute booty and core Pilates workout by San Volet and the hip Pilates workout was by Eleni Fit, Eleni Fit. And it was really good. Like I definitely think if you want a little bit more intensity, but you don't want to go too intense, you don't like running, you don't like crazy cardio, then this is definitely something worth trying out. And yeah, it definitely got me sweating a little bit. And again, what I really enjoy about Pilates is that you kind of feel like a princess, like a dancer in some of those exercises. The exercises are all very controlled and very mindful. So it's obviously when you train with weights or whatever, it's very controlled too. But in a different way, I would say it has like an elegance to it. And that's what I really enjoy about Pilates is that elegance element. All right, we have made it through the week. So here are my final thoughts on Pilates. Who is it suited for? Should you be trying it out? Is it worth? Do I feel different? Do I look different? So basically, it was an amazing week. Like I said, I did pair it with some high intensity and cardio. It is important for me because I used to have cardio-induced asthma. So I really wanna keep on going with cardio. I do practice cardio like three times a week, but you absolutely do not need to do that you can also go for a walk instead of a run or a high intensity workout I love going for walks so I definitely feel like if you want that toned strong look and you don't want to use weights or anything like that or hit the gym then you should definitely try pairing long walks and Pilates because I feel really feel like that's all you need to get into shape if that's what you want to do but please remember it's not about the looks it's about feeling good I definitely feel felt very good during this week. I want to say, I don't know if it was a Pilates or if I just had a very confident week, but this last week I have felt so confident, so beautiful, so strong. And the weeks before that were like the holidays and like New Year's and everything. I wasn't really in a good routine. Like I did stick to my workouts, but I wasn't in it like 100%. So we all know how that goes. So I really wanted to take this first week of January to challenge myself to a new style of workout without going into my regular high intensity workouts that I normally do. So I felt very strong, very confident. The difference that I've noticed between Pilates workouts and high intensity workouts or regular body weight workouts is that except on the leg day, which I'll get to that, except for the leg day, I did not really feel sore. But maybe that's just me because I don't really feel sore in my upper body in general. I usually just get soreness in the lower body. I didn't really feel that like post-workout soreness. However, you do not need to feel that in order for a workout to be efficient. And it might actually be better to not feel it. So I definitely think that it was still as efficient. And I wanna say like the workouts themselves were really tough. Anybody that thinks Pilates is like yoga or like it's like relaxing, it has yoga components, like you do stretch, which I actually like that, but it's just as intense, it's just as hard. It just, I feel like it targets different muscles. It targets different muscle groups. It's a different form of exercising. It's a bit more like elegant and a bit more like 
coordinated instead of the regular like glute bridges and like crunches and you know lunges and all that stuff so I can definitely recommend you trying it out what I've learned from this experience is that Pilates is going to be a regular part of my workout routine now I just enjoy all forms of exercise whether that's Pilates running walking high intensity weights so I don't know but I will definitely have weeks maybe like before my period like it's definitely a good time to do more low impact workouts if you do have that week before your period if you are menstruating then I can definitely recommend it because that was the case for me and it made me feel very 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 confident very strong and I did pair it with like how like whole foods and like I try my best to eat as healthy as possible um, which I didn't show you so let me know if you want to have an I, what I eat in a day what I eat in a week sort of video um, but yeah I definitely felt very 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 strong and good and I can recommend it to you like I said the difference that I felt in the workout intensity was that it was intense in the moment but after that I wasn't as worn out whereas when I go for a run or I do a high intensity workout I'm worn out after that and I need to take longer breaks so one of the days I took as a stretching day as a rest day because my legs were so sore I did a leg day and then after that went for a run and the leg day I was so sore it can definitely make you sore and you can definitely build muscle like if you look at move with Nicole I'm pretty sure all she does is Pilates and that woman looks strong she looks toned if you want to find a way to move your body but you don't like going to the gym you don't like the regular home workout you like it a bit more slow and controlled and balanced and you like it a bit more like elegant like feel like a little princess then definitely try Pilates um, give it a try why not so move with Nicole uh, Saint Volet I did a little bit of Mary Braun because she has some Pilates workouts Pamela Rife has some Pilates workouts I did this other lady I forgot her name though but I'm gonna link it all down below like all the workouts that I did okay and now I'm gonna show you the results I don't have a before picture guys because I've been working out for two weeks and I don't know how much of a difference you could tell, but I definitely feel like I look more toned rather than like muscular. Like my arms look pretty toned, my legs look pretty toned, and yeah, my abs definitely, definitely look toned. And I feel like that was something that wasn't like that before. Um, like I said, I paired it with diet, intuitive eating. Please make sure that you're eating enough. And um, yeah, but don't expect these kind of results within a week, please, because I've been working out for two years and I'm pretty used to like my muscles, probably have muscle memory, but I feel like this tonedness that you can see like right, right there. Yeah, so this kind of like lean, very like here this kind of toneness this definitely comes from the pilates because before that i definitely had a little bit more of a muscle toneness i don't know so definitely you can get toned by doing pilates but your main focus should always be you're doing it for your health and you're doing it for your mental health and you're doing it to feel great and good but i did want to show you the results because i know i would find that interesting and especially when i started my fitness journey sometimes results can be motivating like they shouldn't be everything that you think about you shouldn't obsess over them but the, it can be motivating to see how far you've gotten and yeah how you can like transform your body and it just shows that you're healthy because that is the most important part guys it's not to have abs or whatever it's to be healthy and definitely try out Pilates like I didn't look at the benefits of Pilates maybe I will and I will include them in the video and the voiceover or whatever but as you can see I look toned overall this has been a great experience a great week definitely let me know if you want to see another Pilates challenge or another challenge in general like do you want me to 
do a person's workouts like Pamela Rife's workouts or Mary Braun's workouts or Lily Sabri and show you how that has been because they all have different styles of workouts. So definitely comment it down below and in general what kind of fitness and health content you want to see by me. All right, and without further ado now, I wish you the best day, the best month, year. That is my conclusion. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed. I hope I was able to inspire you to try a new form of moving your body in 2023. And with that being said, hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.